of homework today, mister! Run, Lloyd! Run for your life! <laughs> hey! You ain't garbage! Yes! Superlative! I was worried, Lloyd! Commander Nebulon. No time for compliments, Dunkirk. There's much more work to be done. Of course, ma'am. Find out why Central Control never sent that technician I requested. Heads are going to roll. Yes, Commander. Of course, Commander. Commander Nebulon, ma'am, may I please have your signature on this fuel requisition? Done. Commander, a Zygonian tanker requests permission to dock in Sector 7. Permission granted. Commander, Commander, I need your approval on the new T-shirt design. There are two L's in Intrepidville, Larry. Affirmative, Commander. You're amazing. Uh, uh, uh. Lefty Lucy Righty Tidy Boomer, remember it. Whoa, profound, your mamness. Man, Lloyd, your mom is one totally take charge lady. Her proficiency boggles the mind. Oh, yeah? So what's she gonna fix the lights? I can't see anything, and it's getting really scary. She fixed the lights three minutes ago, Kurt. Hooray! She saved me! Is there nothing she can't do? Nope. She's pretty much Super Mom. All right, men, that wraps that up. Let's get back to the bridge. I want those diagnostics run on the sensor array, and then I expect a complete and thorough overhaul of the... <sighs> what now? Excuse me, mister. Can't you read Zygonese? You can't park that thing here. This area is restricted to station employees only. Well, technically, I am an employee. I'm here to fix the power outage, but apparently someone beat me to it. Yes, Commander Nebulon had to run all the way down here in the dark and fix it on her own. No thanks to you and your tardy technician ways. We're very, very proud of her. I can see why. So, you fixed the problem? Fixed? Well, sure, I, I guess technically I fixed it. <laughs> That'll be enough, gentlemen. I'm Commander Nora Nebulon. Herb Starfield. It's a pleasure to meet you, Commander. The pleasure's all mine, Mr. Starfield. <laughs> I'm sorry about being late. The signal to my beeper must have gone the long way around a black hole or something. <laughs> oh, don't you hate when that happens? Well, if that's all, then, uh, I guess I'd better be going? Uh, you don't have to go. I should. I mean, unless there's a good reason for me to stay. Uh, well, you know, as I recall, there's a faulty photon fuse in the bridge tractor beam console. As long as you're here, you should probably take a look at it. Photon fuse, eh? I don't have any of those on my truck. I'm ordering you a new one. Of course, it could take a few days to arrive. Great! I mean, you know, it'll be good to have the fuse replaced. Until it is, you should make yourself at home. Oh? Well, back home, I'd ask a woman as lovely as yourself to join me for dinner. Like I said, make yourself at home. <laughs> so, uh, I'll pick you up at 1900 hours? <clears throat> I'm Commander. Excuse me, but I believe you have business to take care of. Official business? Oh, of, of course. <clears throat> All right, people, back to work. Back to work. Whoa, Lloyd. I may be crazy, but I think that guy just asked your mom out on a date. Yes, and unless I'm crazy as well, a statistical improbability. She seemed receptive to the offer. <laughs> you guys crack me up. Only girls go on dates. Lloyd's mom isn't a girl. She's a commander. Uh, Kurt, she's a girl commander. A woman commander. <gasps> Lloyd, your mom's a woman. Yeah, she's a woman going on a date. That's got to be pretty weird. Oh, it's not that big a deal. She's gone out on dates before. Although, I don't know why she'd want to go on another one. Why wouldn't she? Well, because it never works out. Like, I remember this one guy, Ennui from Upsilon 8. <laughs> and so, I run figures from this guy's premium through my actuary tables, and he says to me, you call that an accidental disintegration benefit? I've got five trillion hatchlings to provide for. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's a crazy business. You gonna eat that shrimp? He bored my mom to tears. And then there was Torgon. He was a nice guy and all, but he had really bad breath. Buckle up, Norlene. We've got a long, long drive ahead of us. And of course, who could forget oh! Wheatnid, the sensitive one? <laughs> there, there, Wheatnid. It was just an ice cream cone. It wasn't oh! even yours. I know, but it was somebody's. Yep, the fact is, my mom and Diddy just don't mix. The Starfield guy, the poor sucker doesn't stand a chance. I'm coming, I'm coming. Well, hey there, Chief. You must be the man of the house. Whoa, watch that grip. Uh, I'll try. 
Say, mister... Call me Herb, Chief. Uh, mister, you better come on inside. There's something out in the hall that smells really, really bad. That's not the hallway, partner. That's my cologne. Old space. Just wait till you're a little older. You'll be going through this stuff by the gallon. Maybe I should see if my mom is ready to go yet, so she can take you away from here. Ah, the gentleman caller. I'll just alert the lady of the house. Nora, your date is here! I do admire your taste in fabric, sir. Tell me, is that real polyester? What stinks? <laughs> Kids, I don't know about that, little lady, but I do know this. You've got a crontar behind your ear. How in the void did he do that? Not bad, but I think there's something behind my other ear, too. Hey, you're right. Of course I am. And you can stay, stinky man. Please, call me Herb. Herb? Mom? You're close. They're all nice and junk. I say, Commander, you've really outdone yourself this time. That's a real pretty dress, Mommy. Oh, thanks, honey. You look absolutely ravishing, Nora. Oh, thank you, Herb. I hope I didn't keep you waiting too long. It was well worth the wait. Uh, besides, it gave me a chance to get to know these fantastic Moppets of yours. Oh, and your charming appliance here. Please, the pleasure was all mine. Well, time's a wasting. You two better get going. Have a great time, Mom. I'm sure it'll be loads of fun. Thanks, honey. I'll see you later tonight. Bye. Have a good night. I got the remote. Oh, they certainly make a nice couple. Off for a night of romantic abandon, carried on the wings of delight. Please, Station. I thought you were programmed to be smart. That date's not going to last 20 minutes. Do you think so? My friend, I know so. And now, all you nocturnal nematodes, here's the host of the Late, 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 Late Show, Marvulia McWizma! No, no, thank you, thank you, no, no, please, please, stop it before I get a swollen head and my gills stop functioning. Seriously now, though, uh, what's going on in the quadrant? Did you hear about the galactic warlord who actually lost his job the other day? Did you read that? Turns out that he... <laughs> Lloyd, you're still up? I thought you'd be in bed by now. And I thought you'd be home hours ago. Do you have any idea what time it is? Well, honey, it's very sweet of you to worry about me, but... Stop evading the issue. Where exactly have you been? I've seen you eat, Mom. It doesn't take you seven hours. Hey, Chief, this is all my fault. After dinner, I thought I'd ask your mom to go see a movie. I see. And the movie ended when? Lloyd, I think you're right. It has gotten late, and I really think it's time you went to bed. Sorry, Chief Arito. Looks like the commander has spoken. Hey, see you next time, partner. Good night, honey. All right, I'm going. But we'll continue this discussion in the morning. Chief Arito, please. So it's set then? I'll see you tomorrow? Wild flabberwocks couldn't keep me away. Nice line, loser. What's she doing with that guy anyway? Huh? Oh no! She's kissing him! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Herb! Now, remember, young lady, it's lefty loosey righty tighty. <laughs> you goof! Give me that ratchet, I'll show you righty tighty! Oh, no, you don't! <laughs> Like, check out your mom. Yesterday she was stomping around here like a general telling everyone what to do, and today she's giggling. That guy must know some pretty funny riddles. The only riddle around here is him. Who is he? What is he? And what the heck does he think he's doing with my mom? I believe his name is Herb. He's a galactic regional technician, and presently he appears to be enjoying your mother's company. Yeah, right. That's just what he wants you to believe. Well, I'm not falling for his trick so easy. From the moment that guy waltzed onto the station, my mom's been acting like a total doofus. Like she's under some kind of spell or something. Yes, Lloyd, but dating does cause people to act a little, well, peculiar. Dating might make some people act weird, but not my mom. She's not like that. I tell you, there's something going on. And it's all because of that creepy, weird... Hey there, Chief Areno. Oh, hey. How's it going, Areno? Herb, these are Lloyd's friends, Eddie, Kurt, and Douglas. Whoa-ho! Now this is what I call one tough-looking posse of dudes. You fellas sure are to bomb and all that. Likewise, I'm sure. I think. Hey, Chief, listen. I hope you don't mind if I borrow your mom for the afternoon. Herb asked me to show him the sights around Intrepidville. Both of them. <laughs> <laughs> We'll only be gone for a few hours, Lloyd. If there's an emergency, you know how to page me, right? Oh, I know how to page you, all right. I know a lot of stuff, technician. And the stuff I don't know? Oh, you better believe I'll find it out. Well, let me know when you figure out that whole expanding universe thing. What's up with that, anyway? <laughs> oh, Herb. Catch you later, hombres. And I'll see you in 15 minutes, beautiful. Bye-bye. Well, 
Well, wasn't he a rather amusing fellow? Amusing? Dangerous is more like it. Dangerous and conniving. He was putting on an act to fake us out. How else do you explain how dumb he sounds? I don't know, Lloyd. He just seemed to me like every other goofy, awkward adult pathetically trying to connect with us kids. Maybe a little goofier than the rest. He did call us hombres. How evil can he be? Are you guys blind? You heard my mom. Herb asked me to show him the sights. He's drawing her into a trap, I tell ya. He's planning something. Something bad. Uh, Lloyd, you may not be saying stuff like hombres or da bomb, but you're sounding goofier than Herb. I'm telling ya, that guy's dangerous. And if you don't believe me, I'll prove it to ya. <laughs> Hello, Herb. My, how punctual. My, how lovely. <laughs> My, how disgusting. Let's move. his club left-handed very strange very strange indeed there you go an exhibit b the guys eating food meant for the quackatiels what kind of freak does that uh lloyd that's popcorn exactly so, binary system XB38 says to Quasar 739C7. Uh -huh. Hey, Hotshot, you talk big, but the universe doesn't revolve around you, you know. <laughs> and Quasar 739C7 says, Oh, really? Well, as a matter of fact, it does! <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. Oh, I get it, Kurt. I get it just fine. What kind of man tells jokes that bad? Uh... I give up. The kind who's trying to hypnotize an unsuspecting mom. And judging by the way my mom's laughing just a little bit too hard, I'm afraid it's beginning to work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nora, I've got to say, you did a fantastic job showing me around. I mean, you could be a professional tour guide. Really, you ought to look into it. <laughs> oh, Herb, I can't remember when I've had such a good time. Me too. In fact, I had such a good time, it makes me wonder... Why let it stop now? What are you suggesting? I'm only going to be here for a short while, so why not make the most of it? Have you ever been out to Flecton Prime and watched the comet set over the acid clouds? Oh, I've always wanted to. I hear it's beautiful. Then come on. Let's go. Oh, I don't know, Herb. I'm supposed to be back on duty and... Oh, fiddle shrack. I've been working hard lately. My first officer can watch the bridge for a couple of extra hours. Let's do it. Great. I'll go home and see about the kids, and I'll meet you back here in half an hour. Dress warmly. It's a long flight out to Flacton Prime. Did you guys hear that? He's taking my mom away from the station. Flacton Prime is supposed to be lovely this time of year. Oh, my folks brought me a t-shirt from there once. It's out in the middle of nowhere. There's no telling what'll do to her. The guy's a total freak. Didn't we just spend hours compiling exhibits A through C? Snap out of it, man. He's just some goofy dude who's dating your mom. Yes, we followed those two around all afternoon and saw nothing at all out of the ordinary. Except for that fondue. Indeed. So hex your theories though you may, Lloyd. The man appears to be perfectly normal. Oh, I see. Even you've bought into his little act. First station, now you. So much for the smart ones. If there's anybody's act I ain't buying into, it's yours, Lloyd. This whole spying game is getting old. What do you say we all just go to the mall, eat some stuff, and play some video games, huh? You want me to go to the mall while a crazed lunatic flies my mom out to the edge of the galaxy? To heck with that. I'm going in there. What? You can't do that. That's a private home. Private home of an evil fiend. I'm sure he's hiding something in there, and I'm going to find out what it is. But, Lloyd... Aw, oh, jeez. Oh. 
Nerd old boy, I'd say this trip to Flacton Prime is gonna be something Nora will never forget. <laughs> well, time to wash my face. And... Anyone there? A good girl and mind Mrs. Slugblad while I'm gone. all this commotion about? Oh, Daddy, my mommy! Hey, Dad! <laughs> I'm gonna miss her. <laughs> Stop crying, you ninny! We've got to save her! Oh, okay. <laughs> Officers, we need your help. Commander Nebulon's been abducted by a monstrous beast. He's purportedly tearing her to shreds. <gasps> Not on my watch. Come on! <laughs> Nora, I've got a vacuum chamber full of hot chocolate. Are you ready to go? I can't wait. Shall we? Let's. Stop! Lloyd? What's going on? Mom, I caught you just in time! Well, stay there, Chief. Thanks for the surprise send-off. Back off, you gluttonous dog! <gasps> Lloyd! Where's the monster, Lloyd? I've sent for a cage! A cage? What are you people talking about? Lloyd, what's going on here? You'll see soon enough! Huh? Lloyd! Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> You don't know. Stop it, Lloyd. Uh, get away from me. Not a chance. <laughs> <laughs> Leave this to the professionals, ladies and gentlemen. I'm a trained monster wrangler. People, please get a hold of yourselves. Oh, Herb, I'm so sorry. What do you think you're doing, Mom? Don't you see he's a monster? He was hiding it from you with this mask. He wasn't hiding it from me, Lloyd. He was hiding it from all of you. Huh? Herb is a Komodo Guanian. He told me on our first date. He just wears a mask in this galaxy because, well, people around here tend to make fun of the way his people look. He's very sensitive about it. Oh, Herb. I never dreamed anything like this would happen. Just, please, give me back my face. Lloyd, give Herb his face back. I'll be inside. Uh, uh, all right, there's uh, nothing to see here, people. Let's move along, please. Come on now, nothing to see here. Mom, I, I... I think you better go home, Lloyd. I'll be there in a few minutes. I need to talk to Herb and make sure he's okay. I guess you're gonna tell me I'm grounded now, huh? <laughs> no, Lloyd, you're not grounded. Although ripping off a man's face in public is a pretty awful thing to do. <sighs> I'm sorry. I don't know what got into me. It's just something about Herb really bugs me. He's really a very nice man, Lloyd. One of the kindest men I've met. I really like him. Yeah, I know you like him. I can tell. And that bothers you, doesn't it? Have you been upset the whole time I've been going out with Herb? I don't know. Lloyd... I think maybe you've been feeling a little... jealous. Jealous? Ha! Huh, jealous. Not me. Grossed out, maybe. Annoyed, sure. I mean, it's weird. The way you've been acting all goofy and girlish and stuff. It's almost like you're not even my mom anymore. But just some kind of regular person, making eyes and giggling. 
Well, in some ways, I am just a regular person. Sometimes I just need someone to talk to, someone grown up. But I don't want you to feel threatened by that. Nothing will ever change how I feel about you, Lloyd. I'll always love you. I guess it's just hard for me. I know, and I'm sorry. From now on, I think what's important is that you and I talk about how we're feeling. So if I forget, you let me know, okay? Even if you're acting like a total dope? Especially if I'm acting like a total dope. Thanks. So, are you and Herb still heading out to Flatton Prime? You know, we decided not to. We thought maybe instead we'd just go get ice cream at the food court. You want to come? Sure, Mom. So, you get everything all squared away? Yep, we're all set for ice cream. I'll go get Francine. Listen, Herb, I'm sorry about ripping your face off and everything. I'll let it go, Chief, as long as you don't make a habit of it. I won't, Herb, as long as you stop calling me Chief. You don't like being called Chief? No, not particularly. Well, hey, why didn't you say so? If that's how you feel, then I'll never call you Chief again. Deal. Ice cream, ice cream, let's go! You know, I think I might be able to get along with you after all. Oh, sure. My sentiments exactly. Champ. Champ?